Okay guys, so we're talking about this overhead squat um, heavy single that you have. You've just finished um, a, a really high volume of pistol squats and double unders. So of course the body is fatigued going into this. Um, the fight, You had the five minute rest after um, you finished the A2 portion. And you should have warmed up to a good uh, about 50% before starting all of that um, double under and pistol work. So now on the 20 minute mark, you have 12 minutes to build to an overhead squat heavy single. Use the full amount of time. Keep the volume as low as you need to. But obviously everyone's a little bit different. Um, some people can take do much lower volume, take bigger jumps. Some people like to get more sets in. But because this is going from the floor... It's a really draining movement. You've got to get the bar up uh, with some version of a clean. And then you're either going to jerk the bar from the front if you have the mobility for that. Or you're going to go onto the back rack and go overhead that way. Whatever works best for you. Um, what I want you to do is build to a heavy rep. But try to stop before hitting failure. If you fail because of poor technique or you do something you know a little bit silly. Then that's okay. Carry on. But try not to build to absolute failure in terms of uh, reaching the ceiling of your strength. Um, just because I want you to hold back just a little bit, have a little bit left in the tank because it's a, it's a really tough movement. It's really draining on the body, draining on the joints. Um, you can get into some pretty bad positions if you push it too far under fatigue. And um, what we want to do is expose you to some really, really heavy weights but not push you past your limits today. We're going to save that um, for when you get to competition. You obviously kind of go for it and push your body as hard as you feel like you can. But we don't necessarily need to do that in training today. Um, we want to know what you can hit for a really good lift. And we're also looking forward to this afternoon session and to the heavier lifting that we have on Friday. So just keep that in mind when you're doing your jumps and have the discipline and sort of self-confidence just to be satisfied with a really good lift and not always feel like you have to push it to absolute failure.